you know, just amazes me how mental illness could take up so much of your physical energy. internet friends how are we doing today are we MRL? we snuggling mommy are you happy to be back well are you happy that mommy is back let's put it that way apparently I can't talk sounds like sassy's trying to come up the stairs or Riddler or both never know who is it oh <gasps> it's Riddler hi buddy hi oh and there's one more coming up the stairs who is it? We have Emeril. We have Riddler. It's that leaf sassy girl. Hi, honey. Hi, baby. So, today has been another whirlwind day. Um, so, I had an interview with the preschool at 9 a.m. this morning. I have the job. I'm starting work Monday. And then I had to go by my mom's office to print off my name badge for Blue Buffalo. Because the printer at home made MRL look red. And I got to have a picture of a dog as my, on my name badge. And so I chose MRL in his training gear from the last time we went to Lowe's. Riddler was licking my camera hand because I put essential oil. It probably has the smell of essential oil on it. I had, it's this blend called Digize. And I put that on my tummy because my tummy still hurts. And it's helping to relieve pain. So yay. Um... And then, what else did I do? Got some money from my dad, because I was going to buy the shirts I needed for the preschool. But the company they get them from is moving to a new location. So neither store has products in it. So I'm like, what do I do now? So, luckily, I know the director of the preschool, who happens to be their breeder. I know. She's a wonderful lady. Oh, and that, what MRL's chewing on, is the blue buffalo toy. It had a thing in the middle. It's gone now. He kind of ripped it off. But if you look at his Instagram, you will see what it originally looked like before he ripped that off. I literally got that toy yesterday. But he loves the rope. So much. <laughs> Any toy he's happy with. Um, my interview for the chemist position has been moved to Tuesday. They had to reschedule it. Um, and then otherwise I got ready to go to work. And then, oh joy, my first day of work. As you know... The first day for anyone is never easy. Right, Riddler? <laughs> Hi, Buddy. Hi. I love you. Um, so my shift lasted four hours. Within 30 minutes, I was like, I suck at this. I am terrible at this. I felt like I wasn't doing anything right. I was like, I'm, my training is going to crap. Like, I didn't feel like I was doing exactly how I was supposed to do things. And right away, the manager of Petco, I talked to him, and he was just like, he was more concerned because he's had other Blue Buffalo representatives be total jerks and actually, like, force product onto customers. Like, literally take the food they had out of their cart and put Blue Buffalo in. And I'm like, no, I'm not that aggressive. I would not do that to anybody. I will not force you to have blue buffalo. Um, but at the end of the day, I think it went pretty well. I sold two bags of food and four cans of puppy food. So, yay. Um, I mainly redirected people to Petco employees. Because, <laughs> um, of course, I can't tell them about any other brand of dog food. And they'd be asking, like, oh, what do you think would be the best br food for my dog? And I'm like, you know, I can only tell you what Blue Buffalo would suggest. If you want, like, a comparison between other brands, you have to talk to Petco. Because they are trained to tell you all of that. And, of course, I'm also not about to badmouth any brands, which, of course, I wouldn't do that. Because everybody's competing to sell dog food. And in the end, we're just trying to fill our puppies' bellies, right? Yes. So, all in all, it was pretty alright. Mentally exhausting. And it didn't help 
that my stomach was in so much pain. I like kept doubling over throughout the shift. And that's why as soon as I got home, I put the digize on my stomach to get the pain to stop. Because it was making it really painful to stand still or to walk. And of course, as I'm walking, I'm in a lot of pain, but, you know, I just smile. Like, you know, my stomach isn't trying to rip itself apart. Yay. Uh, and I also ended up texting one of my friends and being like, help. But it all turned out pretty well. I got to know a couple of the employees, and then I actually got to know a former dog trainer there who actually trains service dogs. And his prices aren't bad at all. And he's actually specifically moving his company to my hometown because there's a huge need in my hometown. So once I have the money, I may work with him. Because, I mean, I've seen how he works. I really like how he works. I mean, he, like... He trains service dogs. He also does, like, bite work and protect all sorts of things. Um, I want to see if I could get a little bit of help with training MRL. Um, I don't know. As you guys know, I don't have the, the most confidence in myself when it comes to training him. I mean, he knows a lot for his age. That much, I'll say. And it's taken me a while for me to finally realize that, hey... He knows a lot for his age. Like, I can get him to do tasks. Not all of his tasks, but he knows some. His basics are pretty good. He won't listen sometimes, but that's because he's also a puppy and a wime. So those two things go against him. Uh, I am currently teaching him how to play dead using a Harry Potter spell. And he's enjoying it. Um... He knows that today we found out that he knows the difference between up and up up. Up means he has to be standing up from his down or sitting position. Up up, he has to get his upper body onto my lap, which he does with zest. It's pretty funny. But now I'm super tired. Um, I'm just going to chill out for a little bit before filling out some paperwork I need to do for work. Um, and of course, the first day of work is not going to be easy. And I immediately felt like I'm failing, I'm doing horrible, I can't do this, but we'll just see how the rest of the weekend goes. Hey guys! There's Amarel on the bed. There's Sassy next to the bed. Riddler decided he wanted to sleep in his crate, so... You know, left the crate open. He's just chilling in there. Ha. <coughs> <coughs> ah. But anyway. Random thought <clears throat> that I had, of course, while showering. Right now, <coughs> not all of you would understand this. Some of you would. You have no idea how much energy it has taken just for me to hold this camera and talk to you guys. And my camera is not particularly heavy. I mean, it's a kind of bigger-ish camera. One day I'll, like, I mean, I've put pictures online and shown sometimes what my camera looks like. But it's just from this whole day and mainly from work and how much anxiety I had I'm exhausted like I came upstairs and just collapsed it took all the energy I had to get up sit at my desk and fill out my timesheet for work and then <clears throat> it took everything I had to go downstairs and then I had to hold a frame for my dad while he put in a new grill or something like that. And then I had to get in the shower. And I'm like, maybe I could just skip my shower. No, I skipped it last night because I was too tired. And I need to shower tonight. Because otherwise my hair will look really greasy and gross. Um. And then I thought, why even vlog? Just don't. You're really, really tired. 
And I mean, this is before my sleep medicine has kicked in. Like, the Ambien I know has not kicked in yet. And I was like, you know, the fact that you're this exhausted, like, gives you even more reason to vlog. Are mom and dad home? Oopsie. Sorry, I just jerked. My parents are home with my brother from Magic the Gathering. Um, but something that I thought about, I know a lot of you guys understand this. There might be some of you who don't understand it, that you may be on this vlog to learn about what mental illness is like for other people. I know a lot of you are like me and have mental illness that, you know, takes up a lot of your life some way, somehow. And, you know, it just amazes me how mental illness could take up so much of your physical energy. Like, I know, I walked around a store for four hours. That, physically, would probably not make me as tired as I am now. I'm very used to walking around. That's really not something that bothers me. But because I had such bad anxiety, my brain would not shut off. And, of course, I had stomach pain, and I nearly started crying about three times. Nearly had a breakdown once. It just left me utterly exhausted. Like, I was... It almost felt like I was literally, like, dragging myself to continue the rest of work. Um, that's Tyler. But, um... It's like, you know, despite, like I've seen this with some other vloggers too. I'm sorry, my brain's kind of a little bit foggy from tired and then I'm listening to other conversations. But um, I've seen, I've seen this from other vlogs too where, you know, on the outside, I look chipper skipper. Like, I get comments from people a lot about my positive outlook, my bubbly personality, um, today I got described as a sweet, sassy chihuahua, <laughs> which I'm not the biggest fan of chihuahuas, but I think it's because I'm short and I'm like, well, gee, thanks. But of course, that's the joy of, well, not really a joy, that's the pain of mental illness, is that, you know, no one can see it. It's an invisible illness. So I look so chipper skipper, happy, hardworking, the many, many things that people see me as, but... On the inside, I am exhausted. I'm having to fight my brain all the time. And, like, deal with all the anxious thoughts that's going on in my head about anything. Um, at work, of course, it was feeling like I needed to be perfect. And then on top of that, there's considering a trainer for MRL. And then there's his service dog training itself. So, obviously, with all of that... It's any wonder that I'm even up and going when I'm just constantly so tired. Because mental illness saps so much physical energy out of you. It's crazy how just like one organ, this thing up here, can take your entire energy source out. Yet it's the one that also provides energy. I don't know. The brain is weird. And I've explained that a lot. But we all know that the brain is really freaking weird. Well, look. Riddler has come to join us now. He decided not to hang out in the crate anymore. Yay. So now I'm super tired. If I've not already mentioned that the past 15 million times. So I'm going to sign off for the night and head off to bed. So thank you guys so much for watching. I hope you've had a wonderful day or night, rain or shine. Whatever the world has for you today. <clears throat> so, question of the day is, use one word to describe how tired you are. Just be creative. So, the word I'm going to use is drained. So, pick a word. It, can, it may not even have to be a word that has to do with being run down. You could, I mean, if your word for being tired is celery. Okay, cool. You know, that kind of thing. So put your answers down below and I'll see you tomorrow. Bye. Good night, Sassy. Good night, Amarel. Good night, Riddler.